So this video is for all future business partners that come into any one of my created models, be it in the water industry, in the property mitigation of risk industry, or the solar energy industry. I've been recruiting people to consult and in sales since 2000, so that's 18 years. At any one time, I've had a hundred salespeople working for me. At Health and Rec Club, we had almost a thousand. And here's what I know. The difference between someone succeeding and someone's failing is their desire to develop personally. It's not product knowledge, it's not industry knowledge. If you have someone who's intelligent, who has a positive attitude, he will trump every single time someone with product or industry knowledge. People don't buy what you do, they buy while you do it. Now, here's my point. You are going to fail at any business you start, particularly if you don't have some sort of BCom or MBA or industry experience in working for yourself if you do not embrace the personal development and growth uh, uh, part of the program, which is everything that I handle. The, the nine-year-old Sudanese boy who will herd goats his entire life walk 10 kilometers a week to gather water for his family by default, doesn't have a choice. There isn't a library. He doesn't have Wi-Fi. He can't download TED Talks. He can't plug into YouTube. He can't find a way to embrace a program of self-personal development. He has an excuse. But the person who has all of this at their fingertips, how to develop a business, how to create people skills, how to stay positive, how to create marketing, how to acknowledge and understand social media platforms in this new age of business. I mean, you could even download Gary Vaynerchuk's Crushing It for free and listen to it for 30 days without committing to Audible. The difference between this young Sudanese boy who can't and the guy who chooses, who can and chooses not to, is hubris, ignorance, and stupidity. Because this guy doesn't have an option. But you do. I know it's a lot to catch up on, particularly if for the past 20 years all you've been doing is reading the newspaper, listening to the radio, and watching sport on the, on, the t on the TV. But you can literally change your world with one single book. How long does it take to grow personally and develop a sense of gratitude and a positive attitude and independence for your own business? Three minutes on your vision board in the morning, 10 minutes reviewing your goals, 15 minutes on a TED talk, and 15 to 20 minutes reading some literature on any area of your life or your business that needs to be improved in order for you to facilitate a more exciting and enthusiastic engagement within the market, representing whatever it is that you're doing. An hour a day. That's it. So I'm going to leave it there because I'm passionate about personal development, development and growing people, but I move fast and I'm not holding on. I'm not going crossing back over the river to fetch people once I've shown them the bridge. If you won't do it, then you may as well herd goats because that's the choice you have. And coming, moving forward in this economy, in this country where anything's up for grabs, the possibilities and opportunities are endless. But if you're not right at the edge, you're taking up too much space. And it's not me. It's not the customer you have to worry about. It's the community of people who are governing this economy. You need to get on to the ball. And you need to figure out how to stay there, how to balance without falling off. And how do you do that? Learning.